Hello, family. It's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your September tarot scope, big baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. What's up? <laughs> so I hope that Leo season treated you super fantabulous, but now it's time to get it ready, get it ready, get it ready now with damn dirty Virgo season, okay? It's time for you to put some action and some organization because the planets are having a party in the house of Virgo. So it's about organization. It's about cleaning things up. You better get the hand sanitizer ready, the Lysol spray, and the Clorox wipes, baby, because it's time to get to work, all right? Virgo is not playing this month. <laughs> With that being said, up above, we have a full moon in Pisces on the, on the 14th. On the 18th, Saturn is going to go direct. So Big Daddy is about to take control of the Celestials, all right? And then the sun is going to enter into Libra. So we have like a little bit of a calmer time as compared to July and August, but a lot of planets in Virgo. So this is going to be a month of getting things done. So starting off, what do you want to accomplish? How do you want to end this year? Because Virgo can be the energy that's going to push you to that level. Now, with that being said, I want to say thank you for everyone who has participated in the pick a cards. Those are good at any time. Um, let me know what things you would like me to do, do reads on because those are super fun and I like putting those out. Also, keep, keep yourself updated with hitting that subscription and the bell so that you'll know when I'm on weekly for lives, doing donation reads, and also when the pick a cards come out. So, I am showcasing a new deck this, this month. It's the Starman Tarot, gifted to me by my beautiful friend Blanca. Thank you so very much. I love you, love you, love you. It was a wonderful birthday gift. With that being said, we are going to have some fun with them today. So, what is going to be your catalyst card for the month? So, before you're going to read, this is your catalyst. This is kind of giving you guidance of what kind of energy you might be using or might be coming towards you. Deep, deep breath in. Which will it be? One or two. So, if you chose card number one, you have the beautiful Princess of Pentacles. And in this card, you can see how she's birthing something new. She's also growing out of her head, you know, like she's got great ideas. They're not fully at the queen level, but she knows what she's got to do to get where she's going. And so this is the type of energy you're going to need this month. What actions are you putting into place to really cultivate the dreams that you're getting done? What's interesting is she has a beautiful planet right here. And I would like to say this is Venus energy because you're cultivating love and you're cultivating wealth because of everything that's going on. We got a tree in the background. We got the ruby red slippers because I know you're going to be looking fly this month, but this is about really putting things into growth, okay? What are you doing? Card number two. I love this card. Lots of yellow energy, so I kind of feel like you're going to be working with your solar plexus energy. Look at this. Look how his feet are grounded like tree trunks. It's time to get grounded because your victory is coming. There's no more things hanging in the balance, right? This is victory. The six of pentacles is all about the help is on the way. You see this big bad tiger right here? He's like, yeah, baby. This is Tony the Tiger saying, you know, like, yes, we're going to get it. Money's falling from the sky and from the heavens. But what I love here is the little teepee in the back, and I don't know if you can see that, but I feel like this is victory coming to your home. This is victory coming home to you, all right? So cultivation and the Six of Pentacles, we have the Princess of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, and if we put that together, this is a month of birthing new things so that we can come into that glorious opportunity of either being open to receiving and also open to giving. So with that being said, tune in. These reads are going to be off the chain as usual. Leave stuff in the comments, guys. I love you, love you, love you, and have a beautiful, beautiful month. Hello, Gemini. Are you ready for your read, big baby? <laughs> I hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful month. So far, thank you so much for joining with me. If you're new to my channel, hit that like, that share, subscribe. All right, now let's talk about the lineup. We're gonna go into mind, body, and soul, hit up our power animal, a little bit of guidance, hit the tarot, get a little bit of health at the end, and then we'll tie it all together. So we have these beautiful cards called karma cards, all right? And I've been using them for the mind, body, and soul. Let me know what you think about them. On the top of the card, they have spiritual, mental, and physical. These are the actions that need to be taken. On the bottom is the blue, and these are the um, possible outcomes that we will have. So you have the moon in Libra in the sixth house. I am not reading your chart. This is simply the lesson we're learning. Now, 
Spiritually, defend relationships as it's a full-time job. I feel like relationships are going to be a high importance to you this month, um, Gemini. Accept the beauty of serving. Let your feelings tell you how to do it with your partner and do it a little at a time. Whether this partner be a romantic partner, a friendship partner, or a family. This is about doing things little by little in balance, all right? Now, going to the blue, which is the possible outcome. We have here the nurturing of cooperation to perfect serving to others. Sometimes, Gemini, you might be in too much of a giving or receiving role. Only you know that difference. And it's time for you to find your balance. Feelings caused by decisions about what is good for us, what's good for the team, what's good for the company, what's good for the family. Reactions resulting from the fairness shown by your work. This is going to make you start finding balance between work and social or work and personal life. You're trying to find your balance. This month is about balance, really getting into the details of things in order to move forward. Defending the relationships, and I would say that is such a strong thing this month, and making sure that you are defending the right relationships. All righty, Gemini, let's see. And this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Your power animal is the mouse. And the message is <laughs> to see what is right before your eyes and to take action accordingly, okay? It may be like when the mouse shows up, let's say like you're getting a contract or something of that nature and you need to really double read that contract. The proof is in the pudding. You need to make sure that everything is very much highlighted and able to be seen. This is not the time to skim over things, skim over the details. Really read things thoroughly. Now, this is also examining your life, understanding details. Um, especially with contracts. Again, from the mouse, we can learn to pay attention to the little details which may get overlooked by trying to see the big picture. We are reminded not to overlook the obvious. In Greece, the mouse is considered to be tied to Apollo and Zeus, okay? In belief, the mouse is a symbol of abundance and fertility. It does not necessarily mean birthing capabilities, but this can be attributed to being very productive. You ever see a little mouse at it, okay? The mouse symbolizes youthfulness and innocence in Native American culture, all right, is very much tied to the wheel. Now, they say that whenever a mouse visits you, it means that there's a need to look at your surroundings. It's time to clean things up. There might be something in your mind. It's time to get organized. It's just time to put things together. It makes me think about Virgo energy. As I was saying early, this, this is about getting things together. So as a spirit guide or as like a little little nuisance if you want to think about that he's trying to tell you to be able to understand the details he's trying to tell you to go back to earth magic that you need to have um, a lot of details and you need to see the double meanings and things behave innocently you need to have the faith of a church mouse and be very quiet into what you're doing now you may be a little bit shy to express yourself this month but you're going to find the right time to come and scurry onto the path next to it we have from the earth warriors oracle by alana fairchild my you okay soma from the galactic heart the divine mother's milk of the galaxy is feeding your soul. There's expansion on the horizon. This is prophecy of ascension and grace. Pay attention to the details, the messages that you're receiving. Your soul's been going through a lot. You've been feeling a lot of growth. And this oracle foretells that a welcoming of a new phase in your life. Newborn energy, very fertile. And the oracle speaks of soul healing around you. Mayu is the star goddess of the Milky Way, and we have, we have seen it clearly in the skies by the ancient Incas. In Western traditions, the Milky Way is considered a metaphor of the nourishment of the milk of the heavens. And when she appears as an oracle, it's an omen of happiness, satisfaction, and fulfillment. When we connect with the galactic heart, it's a sign of spiritual advancement, okay? Some interpret uh, interpretations of the Vedas from ancient India see the Milky Way as the heavenly Soma, the nectar of immortality and the divine, okay? This is, this is just divine feminine energy, all right? But you have to process all of that. This is beautiful energy, and it's sitting there and getting all the information before you move forward. Sometimes we just think we know everything, and we just want to act. But the mouse is telling you, like, look at the little things before you move forward, all right? Now, I'm cutting the deck here. And I have the Magician with the Nine of Wands reversed. Get your power back and stop fighting. I want to say stop fighting and giving time to things and people and places that ain't worth a damn, okay? When I say ain't worth a damn, I don't mean that they're worthless. It's not worth your energy to fight for things that aren't for you, okay? 
Now sometimes I say things a little bit rough and I don't really mean them rough, but sometimes I can, and so I do apologize about that. Just know that when I get into this card reading stuff, I get like super emotional. <laughs> I mean like getting mad because I'm like, is somebody messing with you? I hope they're not. <laughs> All right, I am rolling a six. The 36 on Mayu is coming down to a nine. There is going to be an ending, but in, in this ending, I need you to pay attention to the details that are surfacing. All right, reread that contract one or two times. I have the high priestess reversed. We're not trusting our intuition. The higher fit reversed. Oh Lord, the 10 of cups reversed. Gemini, don't turn me off. I promise it's gonna get better. Holy moly for holy. Whoo! Now. Six of swords or the six of arrows reverse. We're in a rough time. There might be some unjust, um, there, we're just not healing. There might be some back pain, some heart pain. There's something going on. We're not healing and we didn't like the loyalty. Somebody was disloyal. So I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Now, Gemini, let's see where we end right here. Do we end right here? No. Do we end right here? So I have your creativity coming out with the empress at the bottom of the deck. And for some, this has already happened. And for others, this is, this is a possibility. Now, if it does not fit, do not force it. The Empress coming out is your creativity. You have a spirit guide telling you the Nine of Wands reversed with the Queen of Pentacles. Stop trying to create something with someone who doesn't want to be creative. Stop going together to work with them. And it's possibly a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. But this person is not budging. I also feel like maybe there's some motherly stuff going on, Gemini, and you're not seeing eye to eye. The Tower reversed by the Moon reversed. For me, this is like just, just... Sit tight because everything's going to be revealed. Everything is going to come to the surface. You're not trusting your intuition in the past. Things weren't, you're, you're not letting that settle in. I kind of feel like with the past energy being the high priestess reversed, it's, it's almost like, damn, you know, you didn't see this coming. You didn't want to believe it was coming. And I'm going to use the Starman Tarot. This is a new deck for me. I take a little bit longer to read it because there's so much detail on it. What does the High Priestess want Gemini to know? Five of Pentacles. Man, I feel like someone sold you some trash. Look, that's what's on the card. He's like, look, look at this beautiful trash I got here. And you're like, not again, George, not again. And he's like, but look, look. And your intuition is like, I don't want to sign the contract. I don't want to do this anymore. Follow your intuition. So that is in the past, okay? And that's why the mouse is coming in. And for some of y'all, you just need to clean things up a little bit. Now, the higher fit reverse is in the present position. So now we have the number 55 coming out again. Taurus just got 55. They actually got 555, 999. So I feel like your spirit guides are talking to you, but sometimes we're not listening. With this Five of Pentacles energy in the past, I just kind of feel like it's laying over your head a lot, and these cards are screaming at me. Vulnerability. It's time to be real, especially with your heart chakra. This vulnerability is coming through. And if you have here, you have lavender and sunflowers, right? This lavender is telling you it's just time to relax. And the sunflower is saying, find your joy. And it's going to be in something that's very untraditional. Now, it's very untraditional. You're not really like, you're like, man, I don't even know why I want to do this. I must be crazy. It's not that you're crazy. It's just that you're like trying to loosen up about some stuff. All right? And some of y'all do have a fire sign coming in, Gemini, or you have a lot of fiery energy in your chart. I have strength coming in. Now, I want you to look at what she has. She doesn't have a hand, and her whip is turning into a, a snake with the number eight. So infinity, right? Lots of infinite possibilities. We have mandalas in the back. We have sacred geometry, but those lions are not playing, and she is straight chilling. So I almost feel like you don't have to do this fight, Gemini. Someone's going to fight it for you. You might have a Leo coming in. You might have a fire sign. But they're like, you know what? Just sit right back right over there, baby. I got you. I got you. You have nothing to worry about. Gemini, what else do they need to know? Take a risk. You have the power within you to move mountains. If you don't have someone coming to the rescue, this is you just taking a risk and doing it. Because the hidden influence is your success is not happening. The Ten of Cups is not happening for you right now. And you're like, why am I not complete? Why am I not happy here? So let's see what's going there. Let's see what the Ten of Cups has for Jemmy. Why the card's got to fall on the floor?
Okay, let's see. No. Okay. So the Eight of Wands, we have got to go into action, increase in communication, increase of finances. We're like waiting for it to happen. And when I look at this, I feel like, um, okay, you're gonna think I'm crazy. Some of y'all are receiving downloads, like, inter like I wanna say intergalactic planetary. <laughs> Anyways, you're getting downloads, you're getting information, you're getting all kinds of things that are wanting to push things into action. Now you have the double 88, finances should be improving because you have a fire sign coming through or somebody lit the fire underneath you. And now you're like, you're gonna be vulnerable, you're gonna take that risk, you're gonna put yourself out there, you're gonna apply for that job, you're gonna create your website, you're doing all this great stuff because Virgo Energy's got you working, baby. Now, the advice is coming from this young fire sign, okay? Aries Leo Sag, and he's telling you, look at the red flags. Look at those red flags before you proceed. There's something funny right now. Let's wait, let's wait. Because he's got that fire protection around him. I like to call that his firewall. And Gira, Gira was like a magician that would come in and do the exorcisms. Like Gira would not play, okay? Gira came to wreck shop with his wand. Now, I'm gonna tell you, some of y'all are gonna find yourself in a very romantic situation with a fire sign, and it's gonna get really hot and heated. <laughs> okay? I'm a Leo. Hello, Gemini. I like long walks in the park. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, let's see what this beautiful Prince of Wands has for you. Interesting. I'm going to see if one more card comes out. Now, granted, these, I'm just learning to read with these guys. I'm telling you, the symbolism, the stories to these cards, they are amazing cards. Upright, Eight of Pentacles. And there's the King of Wands. I'm telling you. Woo! You are birthing something new with a fire sign. Damn dirty, your brother, your uncle, your cousin, somebody's coming through because we got the young one and we got the old one and we got some energy coming in here. If you look at the bottom of this card, he's got his babies there because the King of Wands is a good daddy, all right? King of Wands is big daddy. He's the fun guy who wants to take you to the park, have a lot of fun, party, have a good time. But it looks like the Queen of Wands is behind him. And they're birthing something. So you need to take a risk to create what needs to happen, okay? Because then it's the Eight of Pentacles. Now that's the third eight you've gotten, right? Because you had the Eight of, what was it? The Eight of, no, it's the Five of Pentacles. We had the Strength card. I thought it was another eight. Now it's the Eight of Pentacles coming through. So now we got the Double 88, right? By the King and the Prince. This is a partnership that's coming to, together. The Eight of Pentacles is significant. You're learning new skills. This is like taking something very young, very small and maturing it, okay? Taking a little project and making it big, baby. I wanna see if we can get a little bit more clarity there. I was not gonna use this deck, but it's calling me. It's calling me, baby. What you wanna tell me? It's a new life. You are having a new life. If you would just take a risk and just go for it. You know, some people get really frustrated when they hear my reads because they're like, this doesn't make any sense. Because you want to hear the story that pertains to you. So here we go. In a relationship, it's time for you to step away from the things that you regret. It's time for you to have strength to see your value and your worth where your intuition was telling you, pack it up and go. It's time for you to listen and go, all right? In a work situation, learn to take the young skills and make them mature because there is a new life waiting for you. Gemini, you are holding yourself hostage in a situation or a relationship and it's just time to break free. All right. Now, you do have a fire sign coming in here or you are very fancy on a fire sign. All right. And they are very fancy on you. Now, the 10 of arrows is coming in. And Gemini, this is you feeling attacked. You see all those arrows coming at you? You're like, what the hell? What the hell? And the fire signs like, that's why I told you. We got to start this fire. We got to learn some new skills. Ain't nobody come through for, for us. We're going we gonna to do this together. Okay. Let me see which one is it. Four Pentacles. No. No. So the eight, the Ten of Arrows is telling you the Four of Pentacles. And in this one, look at look look at how he's got DNA. It's in your blood, baby. You were meant to create. You were meant to do great things. You got money on your mind and your mind on your money. 
And don't let somebody's bull get in the way. You're able to create a firm foundation. You have the assistance coming through. You have someone coming in. Wake up to the new life. Don't try to do new things with an old foundation. It's not going to work, okay? Six of arrows reverse is coming in at the end of your read. For me, this is just simply saying like choppy waters. It's going to be choppy a little bit this month, but that's okay because help is on the way. You have a fire sign coming in to help you. Upright? Okay, and upright. So I have the ten of wands, and the reason why is you need to share the load. Look, look, and I feel like that's that fire sign in the back. What are you doing, Gemini? Why are you doing that? I don't know. I'm carrying the weight of the world on my shoulders. I want to help you. <laughs> this is what they tell me. I'm sorry. Anyways, the Ten of Wands is coming through and it's like, hey, let's lighten the load. I know other people have stabbed you in the back. I'm not here for that. That's not who I am. If you need me, I got your back. Just let me help. And if you notice, there's another person right here. That's the king and the prince. They're like, hey, we got you. Why are you acting like that? You're not alone. Because we're going to complete what you felt was incomplete and unsuccessful. You can complete with the help of the ones that are coming in. Take a risk. Be vulnerable. Ask for help. That way you can build a firm foundation. All right. Now, let's close up your read with your Virgo lesson. Your Virgo this lesson, your Virgo lesson. Your lesson from Virgo is Thunderhead, baby. This is wisdom. It's located in South Dakota, USA, baby. Now, in the past, this card calls you to be fearless in the face of adversity. The power symbol on the card is the sacred hoop of the Lakota depicting the never-ending cycle of life. Knowing that life is continuous, it removes the fear of dying. It removes the fear of things never starting over. And the wisdom gives you purpose in life. Walk tall through every season. You will have abundance. You will have everything that you need to move forward. Now, in the middle of the card, this is the project that consumed the artist the whole life, dedicated to Crazy Horse. Like, he didn't want to take nobody's money. He didn't want it to, to dampen his stuff. And he was like, oh, no, 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 I got this. I got this. I got this. That's a Ten of Wands. You're feeling like the Ten of Wands. I got it. I don't need your help. Fire sign's like, damn it to hell. I just want to help you. And you're like, no, 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 no. I got it. And that will lead to your destruction if you do not accept help. The Crazy Horse movement lives on, and perhaps one day the sculpture will be com completed. Finish your task so that their true splendor can be revealed. Finish what you start, Gemini. Stop focusing on the failures. Get vulnerable. Take a risk. Share the load and move forward. You do have two tens in this read, so there's a possibility of a job offer coming in. The sun behind the white buffalo calf woman on the top, okay, talks about travel. Reconnect with your ancestral land, your ancestor to strengthen your bond with the sacred will of life. Which is interesting because we have the, the, the wheel on the bottom. Now, you must follow your vision regardless of the dangers that lie ahead. Minimize risk, but do not let fear of the unknown or the unfamiliar stop you. Don't let it, don't let it stop you this month. Because another clue you have is take the leap. And then risk said take a leap of faith. And this is courage. And what's there again? The lions. I'm telling you, you got a damn dirty Leo coming in. You're going to turn to a Leo. Leo sun, moon, and rising. Or someone with a lot of Leo planets, as we refer to as a stellium. They're coming. Pay attention to the details. Do not sign any contracts. Go to someone who is a fearless person and who's going to fight for you tooth and nail. Now, your crystal. Why I got so many crystals over here? Okay. No. Is Malachite. Malachite is a stone that's very powerful, but it can be quite toxic. It should only be used preferably with a therapist because we are going down to the chakras and we are really clearing them. Now, transformation and change are key to this stone. It helps us go to the core issues of our life, particularly psychosexual, social, and emotional problems. We are healing childhood wounds and we're moving forward. This is known as the midwife stone. It's very useful in all problems associated with fertility and sexual organs. Now, it helps with arthritis, nausea, the pancreas, the spleen, parathyroid, and liver. Its properties and ailments help with diabetes, DNA, and cell structure. This crystal indicates it's time to break old patterns and embrace the change, particularly asking you to take responsibility for transforming your life. Now, in a health reading, I have for you is the Six of Swords. Let me put my little notes out here because I got a lot of notes for the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords in your health reading is kind of telling you, hey, Mercury and Aquarius can indicate pains in the whole body, possibly varicose veins and blood poisoning. 
Please do not take this to heart. This does not mean anything to everybody. Simply, you might just be achy, breaky heart or your body's hurting, okay? The Six of Swords in a health reading can also indicate it's time to disconnect to technology. Get away from the technology. Get back to your creator. Get back to Mother Earth. Get back to Gaia. It's time to recharge for healthy healing. So if you're trying to do everything and solve everything through being, reconnect being connected on the internet and doing all this stuff, it could be causing a block for you. Now, your herb is vervain, okay? And it's used for nervous and irritability. It's also used for a clogged or congested liver or gallbladder, and it's great for PMS and insomnia. It was also used on Christ's wounds, okay? It's, it's, it has strong um, healing. It's also tied to the sign of Gemini, all right? This is a Gemini herb, and it's tied to Venus. The gods that it's tied to is Isis, Thor, and Jupiter. And it, this herb enhances other herbs. A fresh sprig brings protection. You can use it in rituals with Jupiter or Thor. You can burn it and sprinkle it in your water to bless your altar. Vervain plus deal gets away of negative energies. Make it into a wash, into a tea. You can burn the leaves to attract wealth. All right? But do not use too much. It can make you nauseated. So remember, anytime you're adding something new or trying to look into something to see if it would help you, a lot of times I don't ingest all my herbs. I do go to an herbal store where they kind of like do them for me and I tell them, what do you think? They're like, oh, you can take this and you can take that. And I do see an acupuncturist um, in the Houston area. If you've ever wanted to get that done, it's called Renew Acupuncture. She's super awesome. I can give you her advice, um, give her your website. And so you can go over there and visit her because anytime you're you're changing and you're doing different things you've got to be under somebody who's going to help you can't just be mixing all these herbs up try to help yourself all right <laughs> that's why they're professionals so this month is going to be key for you key gemini for you to get some healing for you to rest to be vulnerable ask for help receive the help and go take that risk that you need to take Big blessings to you and your family. If you're interested in a read, hit me up at arianaluciano at gmail.com or on the gram at arianaluciano. Be blessed, fam.